Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today will be another DIY video. This video is a part of the challenge that is hosted by Sonia from Domestic Diva DIY. Sonia is an amazing creator. I love all of her stuff that she's making. She's actually have two other channels, which is Domestic Diva Home and Domestic Diva Cooking. I will link all of her information down in the description below. If you have not met her, I would strongly recommend for you to go check it out. And let's talk about the challenge. The challenge was to find an inspiration on the Pinterest and try to recreate it. So it is a really amazing challenge. I was happy um, when I heard the announcement and of course I would really decided that I am going to participate because there is a lot of cool things on Pinterest that we all sometimes get the ideas out of there. So if you would like to know what is my inspiration and what have I created for this challenge, please continue watching. Okay, for this project, <clears throat> we'll be using a Dollar Tree pumpkin wreath form. So I got that. Then I got some decorated nautical rope. Everything is from Dollar Tree. And I got some leftovers on ribbon. So I got this and this. And I'll use one of the mash from uh, Dollar Tree as well. Then to decorate, uh, you can use any greenery. There's a bunch in Dollar Tree that are pretty, pretty nifty looking. But I'm going to be using this. This is a leftovers from different projects. So I wanted to use it so it doesn't go to waste. And um, to decorate the bottom one from that picture that I have seen, uh, the lady, I assume it's a lady. I think it's a lady. It says um, it is craft fully simple reef coat so i guess it's some kind of company but anyway at the bottom of the reef form she used the mash and i'm just gonna do it my way and hope it's gonna look good and usually i cut my mash seven inch long and i will show you how i uh, twisted all with using this twisters from the Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of those now since we are coming up on the Halloween soon. So, and then I'll use my cutter to cut it uh, seven inch long. So I will not cut a lot, just a few, just to make sure the bottom is covered. Anyway, so that is from the supplies which you, what you will need if you want to recreate or what I will need for this uh, pumpkin wreath that I am trying to recreate.
Well, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it turned out pretty cool. I will insert the picture on the screen so you can see how it hanging on my uh, decoration wall. But if you like my video, there is a playlist uh, that is linked in the description below with lots of lovely people and creators who are participating. I can't wait to go watch it and see what have they got out of Pinterest and what they try to recreate. So everything is linked in the description below if you would like to see more video in a Pinterest inspire DIY challenge. But that is all for today for me. If you want to my new people, please let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you to the family and if you're one of my returning thank you so much for coming back love you guys very much and i will see you in the next one real soon bye for now